Right, so I'm going to have a look at some examples here. So I'm going to find out what the HTTP response code actually is from this uh, access. So I kind of know what it's going to be. It's likely to be 200, but we'll, we'll give it a try. So it's buttercup www.access.log. Okay, so we'll just, just load our, our alert. Okay, so we're going to uh, just look at our sources. And we want to grab that one. Okay, and then we'll just have a look to see what our status code is. And the top value with 86%, nearly 87%, is 200. Okay, so we'll go for 200 then. On which day is their most activity in the security logs? So we can do source type equal to, and what we want to do is to to mine across uh, each of the each of the logs. So for that, we can just put in secure star. Okay, so it looks like we have a peak on the 22nd of April. Okay, so now for access log ww1, what's the top referring domain? Okay, and for that we can type in get. going to take it from access log and now we'll find who's been referring to us okay so the top three domains are obviously the buttercup games but then we're coming in from Google, Yahoo and Bing okay so the top referring domain is actually buttercupgames.com okay followed by google.com, yahoo.com and bing.com Okay, so in Splunk is the AND directive implied. So if we try Shooter and that.
shooter and 91 Okay, so we should find that the only alerts that show are actually when the both appear, when both values appear. Okay, so it's it's implied, so we can also do that, and we'll get the same results coming back. Okay, before it got 13, and it's still got 13. So the answer to this one is yes. Okay, so what day of the week had the most failed attempts for the for password? From there. So we can just type this in. So we're taking it from the secure secure.logs for a certain IP address and if it fails. So it looks like it's the 20th of April. Okay, that's a knowledge question. And so on which which is the number of successful purchases for the second most popular IP address? Okay, so we just get our alerts listed. Okay, so this is the action purchase status course, okay, and then that's the access log. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the IP addresses. So here, <coughs> here they are. So 87 dot one nine four is the top one and we're looking for the second most popular address which is this one so it's ninety five okay so it was ninety five accesses from there that's a knowledge one In this case, what we're looking for is we're looking in the vendor logs. Okay, so we'll just uh, have a look at the vendor logs. So this is what the vendor log looks like. Uh, so basically, it's a mapping for every sale that we've that we've had. So what we can do is we can mine in there. We can look at the vendor IDs. So the top vendor ID is one zero six zero. That's for the top sales, and what we've got to do is look at the rear values, which is the lowest sales. Uh, 
and the vendor with the least sales is 9115. Okay, so that was a very quick example there of uh, mining the Splunk. So what I'll do is I'll do a, a, a longer tutorial a little bit later on.